two, three commodities. Commodities, those are gold. Gold, gold, gold. What I'm waiting for to see on gold this week is just um, probably the two things. Um, price in Eza Ika Ikaja Ika Riches Paka Apo Chini at 1491.82. Lakini pia ineza isifanya mojo kwa moja ikaendelea kwenda juu na ika break hiyo resistance na ikaendelea kwenda zaidi na zaidi juu. That's what I want to see. I want to see price hii katika maeneo ya hapo ika break out. Na that's why I'm going to look for my buy opportunity with my first take profit around hiyo area up to you at 1550.67. Na hii as my take profit ya kwanza I'm looking for further breakout on the upside lakini ni kitu ambacho stack ku discuss sana. But um, all in all, when I'm bullish on gold because of economic recession, economic uncertainty, now gold acts as it acts as something so-called um, what's it called um, tonight uh, safe haven. So that creates a lot of um, buying or bullishness to kaitika hi commodity. So it's a no-brainer, guys. Just go in there and just looking for bullish patterns for buying gold. Otherwise, you can shoot and pack a hapochini. I look for buying um, around those areas and then ride, you know, gold all the way up. Moving on to Nangalia WTI, Ini crude oil, crude oil, West Texas oil. You guessed it, Ini oil, Americani. Now, it may a lot of, um, you know, cases, um, Duniani and so far, Kusabuna, the way Americans wanna wana wana dismantle um oil production no oil supply duniani going to dismantle the actual price the oil duniani because na- nowadays they're taking a huge market share against the opec country so it's a big big competition now you know americans how they do their things they're very competitive and they like maneuvering things so uh, it kind of affects you know the the prices so far but like any stuck when on a deep let's look at the technicals because that's what's important and that's what you guys are waiting for now what are we looking for on the larger scale we can get a daily time frame oil you can take a sell off now i'm going to go to you kidogo na i say you can some sort of consolidation now can you four hours let's see what that consolidation is i just want to see um oil you can take area half of you you find a heavy at 57.017 and then he answer kushuka all the way down to 53.853 so just just it's just a pure technical outlook yeah oil so i think that's what's going to happen to oil now here on the um your technical attribution my technical contribution your yeah, oil for this coming week next pacha monzoka oil ni UK oil, UK oil is super interesting. Na nataka nione UK oil kifanya kitu kama hichi. Um tunaona kabisa pia kwa ni consolidation. Na wana ita pacha so they tend to behave katika desturi moja. High probability ni kwamba price itajua ku bounce katika support level ije katika resistance hapa na iendelee kushuka chini na chini na chini. So this was up is going to happen for UK oil. I give it a 7% probability to that to be the case. So I'm very optimistic na hiyo technical outlook ya yeah, UK oil. Um kabo, uh, just a simple very simple trade guys. Angalia kama unavona hapo you can clearly see um you know more than three times in the coil resistance na couple times you going to support so price in about bounce katika hiyo rectangle area. So this could be a very interesting area kwa sababu pia confluence na hii the major trend line could give us a very good um a very good um you know strong sell off at that point so tumeshamaliza commodities now nita jump to cryptocurrencies so guys kwa ile ambao 